I am the acolyte of Watermelon, and I'm going to show you the mini map today and all you need to know about it. As you can see, I'm just clicking and dragging on it. You can do that to move it around the stream anywhere. So near my avatar it goes because this little yellow dot here is where I am on the mini map. And you can open and close the mini map in a couple of ways. Either mini map, this button here on the toolbar, close and open, as you can see. Or you can go right up to the view menu, and there's also a mini map option. Hide and show. Note that there is a shortcut, but I think that's broken right now because I'm actually trying to press it and nothing's working. So I'm going to report that later unless someone beats me to it first. <laughs> so first things first, you see that there's a compass of sorts showing your orientation. As your avatar spins around and moves, navigates in world as you explore Second Life, this will also spin so it can show which direction you're facing. Now, if that makes you too dizzy, you can disable that by going to the edit menu and within preferences, you're going to want to look here for where it says rotate mini map in the general tab. You can turn that off and if I apply that and just move that out of the way for a moment to show you, it always faces north at the top, like so. And by the way, this moving sort of radar, it's, uh, it's like a cone that shows approximately your, your field of range, your vision. It's not exact though. So we can go back here and I like it to rotate, so apply that, whatever. Okay. And next, you can also resize the mini map, of course, make it bigger, smaller, big. Ooh, some green things. And what do those mean? Those green dots are other avatars in Second Life, other people that might be far or near to you depending on where you are. So I'm flying near to them and as we get closer, we can very clearly see that yes, there are green dots. And oh, they've changed from little downward pointing things to, to dots, actually round dots. And why is that? Because when you're above relative position, if you're flying above them, a greater Z height, uh, Z height, sorry, <laughs> then it means they're below you, they're pointing down. And if you're below them, then these little downward pointing things will point upward. Let me go into the water and drown myself for a moment and show you, okay, they're dots. It means I'm on the same horizontal level with them. And I'm going to go in the water and you'll notice that they're going to, they're going to point up shortly, or they should. Maybe I'm not deep enough. Come on. Oh, well, we can see one over there. Yeah, there we go. I'm deep enough under under the sea, and you can see that they're all these ones are all pointing upward. And as I fly upwards, it means I'm the same level, so they should be easier to find. So that helps you because this map is looks two dimensional, but with these upward and downward pointy thingies, it helps you locate somewhere uh, someone where they are relatively to you uh, height. Okay. So also, what we can find out here is you can actually zoom the mini map. It's not the most intuitive, but you right click it and you notice zoom close. We need to be zoom close, zoom medium, and zoom far. That also works. Remember, you can resize if it takes too much of your screen. You can make it tiny, big, and if you want, speaking of tiny, the mini map, since it has the name mini map, I shall call it mini map. It's the smaller version of the big map, which you can access by double clicking the mini map. There you go. See, in the big map, like Dr. Evil comes up and says, this is mini map. So then you can close that whenever you want. But that's the relationship between those two. Not quite father and son, but anyway. <laughs> oh, stop tracking. You might be wondering about that. Well, what that does is if there's a locator beacon on the, the red beacon on the world map, like if I click the map, then I click somewhere. You notice it's the red beacon and it shows me where to go. And the mini map shows that red locator beacon as well. Like I want to fly to a destination. It will show this if you're map tracking someone or looking for a specific landmark. You can either click this arrow to hide it or go ahead and right click and stop tracking and that will take it away as well. So little neat, neat bits and tricks like that. Uh, let me go back to my land here. Where was it? Okay, I may need the help of the mini map to locate where I was going or maybe I'm getting lost. And maybe if I am, that's an embarrassment, but just kidding, because here we go. <laughs> I'm heading back to Watermelon and Land in Grasmere, where I've got more video tutorials for you to watch in world if you like. So you may have noticed these colors. Let me zoom in to show this in glorious detail. Wow, 
colors. It's a sort of a cyan and fuchsia, like the old CJA mode on PC computers. And you're, you're like, what does this mean? Well, the light blue ones mean that they're objects that you own in world. And why these ones are moving is because they are animated. So if you have a vehicle that's moving, or something that's an art gallery, or something that has a mobile that's moving by itself, then that's what it does. And you can see it being tracked almost real time on the map. As an illustration, if I were to create an object right here, oh, it's no build. Uh, okay, let me let me try somewhere where it's not so crowded. Well, I can do it on top of here, I think. But these fuchsia, these kind of almost pink ones. They are objects which are in a gr which are group owned, and you can tell this by either hovering over it. You notice how it says "owner maintenance a group," or you can right click, edit, and right here next to group it says maintenance. Which I mean, the owner it says group owned, and I'm in this maintenance group, and I know this because when I go to communicate, and then it says maintenance, I'm in that group. So just remember that light blue. You own it, and if it's pink like this, it's group owned in a group you belong to. And of course, I'll just do one more quick demonstration of creating my own object, and it'll show up in blue on the map, or it should. Yep, see, and there it shows up. If you resize it, it's also kind of fun to watch. There, it gets bigger, and I can of course drag it around. You see it move. Oh, and someone wants to speak with me. I just saw that. Okay, so let me go over them and see what they want. And thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. There's more fun to come.